Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back yet again, everybody. We are back with another review today. And this one right here is a 2022 release. This is a fragrance that honestly, you guys were the ones that told me about this fragrance through one of my community tab posts. Every now and then I do post on the community tab and I do ask you guys if there are fragrances that maybe I haven't heard of or that I should try or that are really awesome guys that you guys have picked up. And so I get a lot of feedback that way guys. And today I'm gonna review a fragrance that comes from that exact community post. And I wanna thank a friend of the channel, Louise Hernandez, for actually reminding me about this fragrance because this was a fragrance I wanted to actually review. It's just that at that time, it was really, really fresh. There weren't any samples and it was really difficult at that time to get it. But finally, it was easy to track this down at this point. And so we're gonna go ahead with that review. Thank you again, Louise. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe guys okay liking subscribing and watching the ads is a great big deal to this channel it helps us in a very big way so if you haven't done so it's just a few clicks and if you have already done so thank you so much for your support and the fragrance that we will be talking about today this is a 2022 release from the house of bond number no. nine this is none other than scent of peace natural yes scent of peace natural and this one comes in this candy like wrapping as all official bond samples this one has a pastel green wrapping right here and if you look at the bottle design right there of scent of peace natural you'll see that it is similar to the femme scent of peace with similar pastel colors right here but i do like this seafoam green design on the bottle right here now the really interesting thing with this fragrance is that the keyword is natural and bond number nine they've said that this fragrance right here scent of peace natural is their first all natural perfume okay so that's that's pretty interesting guys now for me i don't know what that means really but i will give you guys some feedback on what this smells like is it natural smelling and i think that what's important here is how scent of peace natural compares to most other bond number no. nine perfumes because let me tell you about bond they're pretty good okay i like bond number no. nine i like them because they make some pretty good scents and they make some pretty monstrous effective performing scents okay those are the two things i like with bond number no. nine at least the ones that i've tried recently i reviewed another 2022 release that was bond number no. nine nomad and that fragrance right there that's one of those fragrances that's maybe not that popular in the fragrance community guys and that's another reason why sometimes you shouldn't ride the wave and for me i do ride the wave i keep my ear on the street because that's what my channel is really about but this fragrance right here nomad in my opinion i think y'all should really try it because it does smell pretty good and it performs pretty damn well so if you haven't tried nomad do check that out check out the review as well now this one right here scent of peace natural this is going to be interesting as you can see i have finished it basically it's pretty much done these are the last sprays of scent of peace natural let's go spray this thing right now mmm Okay guys, let's look into the opening notes of bond number nine, Scent of Peace Natural. And right here in the beginning, you are going to get the core note of this fragrance, guys. It's listed as a base note, but no, this one comes right out, right straight from the beginning, and you are gonna experience this note all throughout the fragrance, and that's none other than Ambroxan. Yes, Ambroxan, this fragrance, is an ambroxan scent i'll tell you guys and ambroxan is a note that is well loved especially now i think in the fragrance community i don't know why i like it too but i think that a lot of people are really drawn into this musky amber woody type smell you know i mean a lot of people like ambroxan if you like it i'm telling you this one right here ambroxan is the core note of scent of peace natural and with a huge blast of ambroxan in the beginning you are going to get lemon black currant as well as pedigrain guys now i would say 
that the lemon black currant is actually a strong combination here. You can really experience the lemon as you are smelling that strong ambroxan as well as that fruity black currant right there. And of course, you have your underlying pedigrain, guys. A little floral note to keep it uplifting in the beginning. But this ambroxan, like I said, is pretty intense. I think that it's strong in the beginning because it's supposed to last until the end right here. So I would say Ambroxan starts it off with little lingering shimmers of that lemon black currant as well as pedigree. Now here's what's really interesting guys. Within I would say 30 minutes of experiencing this fragrance, this is when all the notes, the opening notes kind of come together guys, okay? Because in the beginning, like I said, it's Ambroxan on its own and then you've got your lingering fruity notes and that background pedigree. But when they all come together, okay, this is really interesting. Within 30 minutes, you are going to get a tea-like scent or like a tea-like accord or maybe that's how it smells when they all come together guys so that's what's really interesting this is like that first opening like hour hour and a half of bond number nine scent of peace natural you go from ambroxan to lemon fruity to some lingering orange blossom and then eventually it becomes like a tea-like scent for another like 30, 45 minutes, guys. So if you are into these tea-like scents, like for example, for me, I like Winter Palace, for example, you are gonna get that here guaranteed somewhere in the beginning of bond number nine, Scent of Peace Natural. And with that being said, in my opinion, the key word of this fragrance is not really natural, but peace. It's scent of peace, guys. There's something about this tea-like scent and these other notes are just lingering and they're underlying and the ambroxan is really the one that's the strongest there's something about this opening that really feels very meditative i think it's that tea-like accord that tea-like scent that really makes it meditative guys it's so serene peaceful chillax whenever i'm like experiencing this fragrance in the beginning and the opening yeah it does start strong but then it eventually kind of like mellows out and so yeah i think that this is a meditative opening part that is good for the wearer especially for the wearer if you know for those times that you want to kind of relax get some perfume therapy this one will work for you right here now an hour and a half later guys the fruitiness will turn up and you will get the note of raspberry okay beautiful raspberry that is actually pretty like powdery i don't know how to describe it but it's like the fruity notes here in this fragrance just do not overcome the ambroxan. It just doesn't overcome the muskiness. It doesn't overcome the amber animalic smell of ambroxan. But then it's just finely mixed. It's not like the raspberry just cuts in there and suddenly it's this strong fruity raspberry that we get in a lot of these Middle Eastern scents. The raspberry is kind of like a low hum raspberry that goes with the ambroxan. It's actually quite warming and comforting. And again, that goes with that meditative start of scent of peace natural and then it gets comforting with that raspberry mixed with ambroxan because the ambroxan right here never really goes away and then a few moments more you've got rose that's right there's some rose in this guys and it mixes quite well with this raspberry this fruity raspberry right here and you kind of feel it because there's some more body into this scent because the initial part like i said is a tea-like meditative you know it's kind of like thin right there in the air it lingers around and then suddenly you feel like there's more body in this perfume and that's care of the rose so the rose does show up it's not a thick rose again it's still mixed with that musky earthy woody type smell of the ambroxan but then it's also fruity at the same time because of raspberry now i know what you're thinking right here is this fragrance unisex or for women okay at this point at least guys okay now i will say this this fragrance to me smells pretty damn unisex okay i mean really there are no like pure femme indicators with this fragrance even with the appearance of raspberry and rose raspberry is actually quite uh, a unisex uh, type of note right here but then because of the ambroxan still presiding over all of them i mean it does smell pretty unisex even 
with a raspberry and rose combination. And this combination I really like. It gets all fruity with a raspberry as you're smelling Ambroxan. Again, if you're an Ambroxan fan, you're really, <laughs> you're really not gonna get a shortage of Ambroxan in this fragrance. And then finally, on the four hour mark, basically you're gonna get Ambroxan, cedar, and musk right here on the dry down. So it's more of the same, it's just intensified because now you've got an additional musk note, a sensual musk note, as well as cedar, there's woodiness. I mean, it's basically Ambroxan times 10. You've got Ambroxan that's still gonna be there, but now powered up with some cedar and musk. And like I said, if you look into this dry down, guys, very unisex. It doesn't go into like femme territory with a bunch of florals, but this one right here is just a nice woody Ambroxan. And what's really interesting about this fragrance, guys, is even with the appearance of the rose right there in the mid, it's very serene, like I said. That's kind of like the way I can, you know, describe wearing this fragrance. It feels like you're right in the middle of an enchanted forest or like a relaxing meadow. That's it right there. It's like a meadow. Being in a relaxing meadow is basically what this fragrance is like when you're wearing it. It starts off again, beautiful Ambroxan, meditative, then fruity, still with Ambroxan, a little bit of rose, not enough strong rose, and then back into Ambroxan times 10 with that cedar musk Ambroxan combination. Now performance wise, this is interesting guys because if we refer to my old Bond number no. 9 reviews, I've always praised Bond number no. 9 for having really, really good performance on their fragrances guys. And I guess that's because they're not natural. I don't know if that's what it is, but they really do have some strong fragrances like the Nomad, like I've said, Scent of Peace for him to me is pretty damn strong, guys. If you overspray Scent of Peace for him, you are going to choke a lot of people around you guys. I think that you can't overspray Scent of Peace for him. So anyways, going back to this fragrance, Scent of Peace Natural, this one is quite interesting because it doesn't have the beastly properties of most of the other Bond number no. 9 fragrances that I've done. This fragrance does start off strong, guys, but again, within like 30 minutes, this one really does settle down into like a lingering scent. Again, more for the wearer as well as close encounters, intimate encounters, or probably small circle encounters. But definitely, this is not the projector and room conqueror that maybe a lot of y'all expect. Maybe that's the natural thing about this one, but it is not going to be one of those beastly ones, okay? And the thing about this one right here is that other scents may defeat it or conquer it. So if you're wearing this, guys, maybe go to a more intimate, outdoorsy location or, you know, a location that you won't get overrun by other fragrances. Because I'll tell you, when I wore this fragrance to the mall, a Dior Sauvage wearer, and he wasn't even really there. He like left uh, the space with a whole cloud of Dior Sauvage, and we all know what that smells like. That cloud of Dior Sauvage like immediately muted my scent, okay? Just for a minute, for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So that's one thing I'm gonna point out is that other scents may defeat this scent in terms of strength, guys. But the interesting thing too is that this one is actually long lasting but as a lingering or possibly a skin scent, okay? So this one is long lasting when it comes to that. And so even if there's that Dior Sauvage cloud taken over, after like that, after you get out from that, you are gonna smell this fragrance again. And so for me guys, the strength of this fragrance as a lingering scent to me is about eight hours, okay? And that's giving this fragrance a fair shake. But then when we talk about the skin scent Ambroxan smell, because like I told you guys on the dry down, it's got more of the same, more cedar, more musk to mix in with that Ambroxan, which already smells like that then you are going to get maybe 10 to 11 to 12 hours of that skin scent smell around you, okay? So that's the thing. It's long lasting, but the strength, maybe because it's natural, is not that strong. It's long lasting, if we're talking about long lasting, however, like I said, when it comes to strength and intensity, nah, this one right here is not as strong as the other Bond number no. 9 scents out there. Weather-wise, you can wear this fragrance anytime, anywhere, guys. And I actually had some doubts about this fragrance performing and doing so well in the high heat, but definitely this is great 
for those summer months or summer days, guys. And if you live in the lands of always summer, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a Game of Thrones right here, the lands of always summer, if you live in like the Philippines, for example, where it's always hot, this one I think will be great because it can work as a day or night perfume because it's ambroxan mixed with all these lingering notes, guys. So I think it's very, very usable. And especially if you're a big fan of ambroxan, you definitely need to get a sample just to check it out. And maybe if the performance is good for you, or maybe a full bottle can compensate for that kind of lack of strength, I wouldn't say it's the longevity, it's the strength, then maybe this is a good buy. Bond number nine, Scent of Peace Natural, to me, is a grabber. It is a grabber. It is great for even casual instances. And even if you amp it up a little bit more into maybe semi-formal, you can still wear this, but it's very casual. It's very light, soft, meditative. It's very relaxing wearing this perfume. And so, you know, this one actually, you know, it deserves a shot and you can really wear it any time of the day, guys, okay? There's enough stuff that will make it work in the daytime, but because also it's ambroxan, it works in the nighttime as well. But for me, when I wear this, my typical occasion where I'm thinking about wearing this is just outdoors in the daytime. But that's just me. I'm saying you can use it anytime. But for me, the best time is really that beautiful, like walking around in the daytime when you're out in Melrose or Beverly Hills and you're just wearing this. It really feels great wearing this perfume. And again, it is really more for the wearer. And again, let me reiterate that this fragrance right here is a unisex scent. Despite the bottle being pretty much the same as Scent of Peace for her, which has like the dove or I don't know, like a bird design and the pastel colors right there. You know, I think that the pastel colors just basically signify it's like a meditative scent. I mean, look at the bottle. It looks like a meditation lamp. And this is a fragrance that I would consider a sleeper okay it's a sleeper scent guys and if you're wondering what a sleeper means does that mean it's a fragrance that'll put me to sleep no a sleeper is actually a term in car racing guys okay a sleeper is basically a car that looks simple and run down but actually there are some modifications to it that make it pretty awesome okay and usually it's pit against these flashy cars but then the sleeper actually outruns them pretty pretty quickly so again on the outside it looks like you know a really simple design and that's pretty much what this is guys if you look at the notes pretty simple right it's pretty simple but i think that in close encounters really you're gonna get a lot of positive reactions with this ambroxan this fruity ambroxan woody musky perfume right here. I mean, you guys already know this. Ambroxan does the job. And so this one right here just has a mix of some fruity notes, maybe like a tea-like smell that in my opinion, yeah, this is a sleeper scent right here. All right, so that is it. That is my review of Bond Number no. 9 Scent of Peace Natural. Again, I want to thank Louise for commenting on my community tab and really reminding me that, you know, yeah, Bond really did release this. And so I was able to grab a sample of this really, really quickly. And let me know in the comments below if there are other scents you would like me to test and try that maybe I haven't heard of, guys. Keep it coming because this channel ain't stopping, okay? So keep it coming, guys. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys, all right? God bless, take care, have a great weekend. <music>